Are you running Google Ads campaigns that are not working and you can't work out why you are not getting those conversions and sales that your business needs? And if that's you, I want you to stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the step-by-step -step process that I go through in order to audit my Google Ads campaigns to see why they're not working so I know where I need to optimize and add in some changes so we can start seeing those conversions come back into our Google Ads campaigns. And there's three main areas that you need to look. But before you look at those three areas, you need to firstly dispel that myth that Google Ads doesn't work. Because it's really, really easy as a business owner if you're not seeing success with Google Ads to blame Google Ads rather than looking at these three core factors that you need to get right in order to see success with Google Ads. The reason for why we know Google Ads works is because I've seen it work not only in my business, but countless thousands of different businesses that I've gone through and helped as, as either managing their accounts or as a coach or also as students. So we know that Google Ads works. Another reason why we know Google Ads works is because businesses are spending more and more money with Google Ads year on year. So if you're not seeing that same level of success, we can rule out that the problem is Google Ads and really take a harder look at why you're not seeing success with Google Ads. And I get it, as a business owner, sometimes it's really, really hard to take a step back and rather than blaming the platform, actually look back and go, what is it that is wrong about our Google Ads campaign, our landing page, or even our offer, which is holding back the success of these campaigns. Because that's three areas that we're gonna go through and review. As I mentioned, the first area that you need for success with Google Ads is that you do need to have the right Google Ads account structure, and you need to have some things right in your Google Ads account. So let's jump into a screen share right now so I can show you how I go through and review this if we're taking on an account or reviewing the account that is not seeing success with Google Ads. Okay, so we are inside of a live Google Ads account that we're currently reviewing. This business, they need a baseline ROAS of 200% in order for success with their Google Ads campaigns. That's just the way that their business is set up. And what we can see from here is that they've been on a sliding scale of ROAS week after week. It has started to get a little bit better, but you can see that it is below that call marker of where they need to be. So the first thing I do go through and have a look at is what's happening over a longer term period. Now, I would usually do a comparison as well to have a look at what was happening this time last year. But this is a new business that only started over the past 12 months. So we can't do that in this scenario. So firstly, you do want to just make sure that you're not ruling out any seasonal comparisons. Then the next thing I go through and have a look at is I want to go through and have a look at the structure. And specifically what I'm looking at here is what type of campaigns are they running and how are they using them? Now, what I would do in this situation is generally I would speak to the business or the performance manager manager who's been looking after this campaign. And in this account, I asked them, you know, why are we running these different campaigns? What's happening in this situation? How are they running? And in this situation, this business has got a limited range of products. So they've got one shopping campaign and then two specific search campaigns, which are built around their core products. So they've got two main product categories. And then they've also got a performance max campaign, which is built out to try and get some cheaper traffic so that they can look to expand their reach. And this one is specifically targeting new customers. So there's a couple of things that I want to go through and have a look at. We want to go through and have a look at each of the campaign settings. Now I've put in some extra columns in here and we can see that all of these are using smart bidding and three of them actually have a target. So what I'm firstly looking at is I'm going through and having a look at and I just want to rule out are there any targeting changes which could be limiting the performance. When it comes to targeting changes I want to look at a couple of time ranges. At the moment we're just looking at the last 30 days which is the most important when it comes to your performance especially with target bidding. Then we do go back and have a look at a bit of a longer performance. So this one is now looking at about 90 days. So we're looking at three months. So we can see that this performance has only really started to drop off in the last 30 days, but that's where we need to go through and have a fix. If we look at the shopping campaign, the way that that shopping campaign is set up, they're currently getting a conversion value cost of 4.45. Remembering for this business, it needs to be above 200%. Their target rolls is at 400% and their conversion rate is at 6%, which for a shopping campaign is quite high. Usually the baseline metric is at 3%. We can go through and also do some other searches. I like to do some review searches. So we might go, let's have a look at what the last two weeks are, add a comparison. And then this brings out some extra data metrics from here. I'm doing this inside of Google Ads. If the client has triple 
trail or any other external type of tracking, you can do that in here as well. What you're generally looking at here is we're looking at trend lines and we're looking at what is happening with this business in terms of its conversions and in terms of its conversion value. Yeah, we've already cleared off that shopping campaign. Let's go through and have a look at these two search campaigns. These are the ones where the bidding is set too high for the current results. And we can see this top one here, it is actually going through and performing okay. We can see that the ROAS is increasing over that, and this is looking at a two week period. The conversion value is up and also the conversion rate is up. So for that one, we would go back and have a look at the search terms targeting, look at the ad copy to see if there's anything extra we can do in there. But in terms of the bidding, that is okay at the moment. Whereas for this bottom one, we can see from here is this performance is going down and down. So what I would do is I would make a note there, have a look and we'll go, we need to go back and have a look at this bidding option in through here. The next thing that we wanna go through and have a look at is some of the core metrics. And I'm gonna go back to the last 30 days. And what I do from here is that when we highlight some things that we need to go through and have a look at, so we know we've got to go back and have a look at the bidding on that bottom search campaign. I make some notes because at the moment, I'm just going through and doing a fact finding mission of finding out what is the problem and what do we need to come back and optimize further. When we look at some core metrics, there was some data that was released from WordStream. And they release it every year, but last year for search campaigns, the average click-through ratio was 7%. For shopping, it was 0.9. I ran that up to 1%. And the conversion rates for e-commerce, you want to be 5% for search and 3% for shopping. So using those as the benchmarks, obviously we want them to be higher. So it just allows you to quickly go through and look at it and go, okay, so with our two search campaigns, we can already see that this click-through ratio is below that metric of 7%. So we do know already there's some areas we can go through and improve in terms of their ad copy and their search targeting, because that should be ideally at least 10%, but we definitely need to get it higher. Once again, I know with the bottom search campaign, I need to go through and look at the search bidding. With both the search campaigns, I need to look through their ad copy and their keyword targeting. Now let's look at the standard shopping campaign. And we can see from here, we know this conversion rate is performing really, really well, but we can see from here, their click-through ratio is low. So we need to go through, have a look at the targeting. So we'll look at the product titles to see if we can make any optimizations there. We'll also look at the photos, see if there's any options there. And we will also go through into Google Merchant Center and do a check of their store quality. So as you can see from there, we've already got a full list of things that we need to do around the optimizations just by going through and doing a quick audit of that account. Now, the other thing that we do go through and have a look at is I wanna go through and have a look at the change history. And the main thing that we're really looking at in through here is especially with the bidding targets, one of the things I do really wanna go through and have a look at is making sure that they're not jumping around and over-optimizing their bidding targets because that is one thing that can really cause a big concern with your Google Ads account. Because if you are, continually going through and changing your bidding strategy, you continue putting your campaign into a new learning phase. So it's one of those things you just definitely not recommended as a best practice inside Google Ads. So that important first step, what we're really doing is we're going through and doing a review process to start to look at some areas where we can go through and make some greater optimizations inside of our Google Ads account. And if you've gone through that process and you still can't see success with Google Ads, what I do wanna offer is that at Define Digital Academy, we have a full array of options that we can help you with your Google Ads accounts. And we have options for people who are just starting their very first Google Ads campaign, for businesses that are only just starting in Google Ads that are spending less than $1,000 a month, all the way up to businesses that are investing well over six figures every month into their Google Ads campaigns. And if you'd like to see how Define Digital Academy can help you, if you just follow that link in the description below, you can see a really quick form that takes no more than 90 seconds to fill out. And we will be back in contact with you about the options that we can help you and your Google Ads. So let's get back into the teaching. In that first step, what we're looking at doing is highlighting some different things that we can do to work on inside of our Google Ads account. So we're looking at that structure, we're looking at the bidding strategies, we're then looking at those core metrics. When we said we looked at those core metrics, one of those metrics we looked at was our conversion rate. If our conversion rate is below those industry benchmarks, obviously, once again, we want them to be higher than that, but that data from WordStream shows that the benchmarks that we're looking at for service-based businesses at about 5%, and for e-commerce, we want them at 3%. If you're not achieving those metrics, the next part that we wanna be looking at is our landing pages. We do wanna go firstly make sure that Google Ads is targeting the right traffic. We wanna make sure that we've got relevant ads. And if we've got relevant traffic with relevant ads going to our landing pages and we're not getting conversions, it's highly likely that the problem could be the landing page and not necessarily all about Google Ads. And when we look at websites, 
there's some core things that we want to be making sure we're achieving. And the first thing we want to make sure that we don't have a slow website that also has a poor user interface. Google does actually offer a free tool that you can go through, add in your URL to check these things. So if you go to pagespeed.web.dev, you can enter in your URL and it'll run that test for you. And if you do use my Google Ads optimization checklist, you've actually got the URL there as well, so that you can simply just go for my checklist and enter your URL into that domain. And I'll also put that link down in the description for you. So that's the first thing you wanna rule out. You wanna make sure that you don't have a poor experience. And there is some really, really strong data to show that if you've got a loading page speed of less than two seconds, it does really, really affect your results. So you're spending all this money on traffic, make sure that you've got a website that is not losing traffic before it even gets there because people are clicking off because it takes too long to load. When it comes to your website and your product pages and your landing pages, you don't only need to have a user-friendly website that also has a fast loading speed time. You also need to make sure that it's highly relevant to the user's initial search term. Remember one of the core features for Google Ads is that people are completing a search, they're then clicking on a relevant ad, you need to also send them to a relevant landing page. A lot of the times when we are going through and working with clients to fix up their campaigns, this is what a lot of it comes down to is that they're searching for one terminology and then when they hit the landing page, they're getting a completely different non-relevant headline. So you wanna make sure that that landing page is highly relevant to the user's initial search term. And then also I wanna highlight there is that you don't only need it to be relevant because people, when they land on your website, they don't just wanna see a whole heap of keywords. Make sure that you are still doing the fundamentals of sales of building that pain or that desire. So it's not about just keyword stuffing your heading and keyword stuffing your subheadline. You wanna make sure that those headlines are focused on the user and really highlighting how your product or service can either do one of those things, solve a problem or help them achieve a goal. So you're moving them away from pain or moving them towards that desire, whatever they're wanting to achieve. So make sure it's highly relevant. And then you also wanna make sure that it's a simple process. One of the things that I hate is when you go to a landing page and you've got five different conversion options all in the header, and it can really cause that confusion. What you need to remember with Google Ads is that it's all about getting people to that next step. So when they see that ad, the next step is for them to click on your ad. When they click on your ad, the next step is for them to be engaged in your headline, then engaged in your subheadline, and then further and further they go down the page, they're further and further engaged until they complete that sale. And then you also wanna make sure that you've got other elements like your authority markers and an easy checkout process. Now, I skimmed over that last bit about landing pages, but what I am gonna do at the end of this video, if you stick around, I will show you where you can see a full training on how to get high performing landing pages for your Google Ads campaigns. Because right now we're gonna to step 2.3, which is all about your offer. Now, when I talk about your offer, I don't want you to think that you just have to automatically lower your price. Because your offer just isn't about your price, it's also about your branding, and it's also about all of the messaging that you're giving. If you think about high-end fashion clothing versus fast fashion, you know, ultimately they could still all be selling shirts, but the messaging and the branding and everything that they've got to do with their offer is very, very different. The high-end is offering a much higher price, but they've got a whole level of other justification for that price. And some of it is the status and the brand. For fast fashion, it may be a much lower price and they may just purely focus on the price to get people over the line. Regardless of where your business falls on that spectrum, you really, really need to make sure that when it comes to your pricing and your offer, that you've got really, really good alignment and remember, it's not just about dropping their prices. Sometimes it's about tweaking the messaging to make sure that it matches with your brand and what you're really trying to promote. So when it comes to structuring your offer, don't forget to really highlight those unique selling points. And if you are gonna say anything like that you're the best or you're the number one, you've gotta make sure that you've got some objective facts there, that you're not just saying things that anyone else can say. A simple rule that I have for when you're constructing your offer for a business is that I like to say things that my competitors can't say or that they won't say. Also have a really good think about how you structured your offer together and really run some different price points. So do some testing around some different price points, do some testing around some different messaging until you get that right and you start to see more sales and conversions coming through. The real big take home message I want you to get from this 
is that for success with Google Ads, it's about getting those three core components right. You need to make sure you've got your Google Ads campaign set up right, you continue to doing those right optimizations. You then also need to make sure that you've got a high converting landing page, and then you also need to make sure that your offer is working and it is something that the market wants. Remember, if you do need some extra assistance with your Google Ads campaigns, make sure you follow that link in the description below, because at the Fine Digital Academy, we would love to help you in any way we can with your Google Ads campaigns. And as promised, if you'd like to learn more about how you can get highly effective Google Ads landing pages for your Google Ads campaigns, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. I look forward to seeing you in this video right now. See ya.